was very young. I was, I think, 12 or 13. I was recording cover songs that I wanted to put on a demo CD that I was hoping to somehow get to the Backstreet Boys manager or Britney Spears or Max Martin. And it was this old, a huge old studio in uh, Wallingford, Connecticut called Trod Nozzle. And I mean, they had everything from back in the day, like the tape machines, ADAT, everything. Uh, I even remember the smell of the A room. Uh, I remember the mic. It, it, it's such a nostalgic moment for me. It, it's a time in my life, that studio. And I kept going back over and over again. I ended up becoming really good friends with the owner and the owner's daughter. And uh, it was it was one of those things where I didn't know how anything worked, but I was amazed. A memorable moment. Let's see. I mean, if you, a, a memorable moment for me in the studio. I have so many all the time. Uh, probably one of my favorite memories in the studio is when I was writing for, uh, I was writing a Christmas song in the middle of July and we all wore Christmas hats and we like bundled up in red and green and we just went nuts with like jingle bells and playing the tambourine. I would say that was probably one of the most memorable experiences I've had in a studio was Christmas in June or July or whenever it was. My favorite kind of studio is a small homey feeling studio. I like to feel like I can just like go up, grab a coffee, sit down and relax and everyone's close together and you can just like talk to each other instead of talk through, you know, the talk back. Uh, I've always been the type of person that likes a more intimate experience. I'm not like a big group people and to me giant studios, it gives me vibes of like, okay, I'm so far away from you now when I'm recording. So, yeah, I would say a small studio is more my speed. I've got a few cool things happening really soon. We've got a, a, I've got a feature coming out with a, a DJ duo called Safari. And they're like these masked creatures. And the music is really unique because it's super dark but has a lot of hopeful melodies. They are some of the best sound designers I've ever worked with in EDM. And then I've got some amazing Cruella music uh, in the pipeline. We're actually in the midst of wrapping that up today. So, eyes open, ears open. <laughs>